Hey bosses, welcome back to my channel. As you could tell by the title of this video, this is going to be part one of my organization series and this is going to be how I organize all my cabinets in my apartment. So I don't have a pantry like most people here on YouTube and I'm on a budget. So I already did the whole video of everything that I got that I will link in my description box. So make sure you check that out. Also, if you like these types of videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video and also follow me on social media. So let me give you an overview of my cabinets. So all my cabinets are behind me I have cabinets down here and I have one over here and I have one up here that I don't really use so I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do with these cabinets and show you like a little fast forward motion and then I'll show you the finished look So this is my finished kitchen besides the ring light that's up there because the light in my kitchen is terrible and I need a freaking thing to close this nail polish rack right here. So I'm going to go through all the cabinets and show you what I've done. So let's go. But this is basically the layout of my kitchen. I just have this cutting board here because it's red and I have these set of bowls that I got a long time ago. I probably got it from like home goods or something like that. Here's my sink and then I have these hooks that came with the house and I have all my cutlery hanging here to save space. I put my detergent in a bottle. I got this from Target. I got this from Dollar Tree. I have my rack to dry my dishes and the one appliance that I have over here is my blender because I use this on a daily. On the opposite side I have my microwave and my toaster oven then I have my stove which I cleaned off and I have a kettle on the stove. In the first cabinet this is what it's looking like. 
at the top shelf I have all my pastas and canned goods if you can see hopefully you can see all set up in this basket from Dollar Tree on this next shelf I just put all my Tupperware it's not the neatest but this is temporarily for the moment on the bottom shelf I have all my vitamins on this lazy Susan that I've had for years I don't even know where it's from but I have this on here in the second cabinet I also have these two containers from Dollar Tree on the top it has like canned goods like soup chef boyardee beans and stuff like that at the top in this bin is just an assortment of different kind of packets that can stand up and all fit in here like pasta sides rice I have tuna fish I have some cough drops pop tarts stuff like that on this bottom shelf I have this container I got this from Amazon this is where I keep my teas then on the bottom here I have all my snacks and protein bars in this first bin in this bin in the back I have some crystal light some nuts and I have some sazon packets in the back and I have this shelf and I have um, my Ziploc bags, a Herbalife product, and Alka-Seltzer that didn't fit on the other Lazy Susan. In the middle shelf at the top, I have a bunch of cereals, and these containers are either from Walmart or actually the Wish app. These small ones are from the Wish app, and these big ones are from Walmart. On the second shelf, I have this Lazy Susan that I got from National Liquidators, and it has the spices that I don't use that often. And I have an extra set of stuff and things that are too big to go on the Lazy Susan over here nicely. And on this shelf, I have another Lazy Susan that's like the one in the first cabinet that I've had for years, and it has the seasonings used most often. Over here, I have these containers. I don't even know where I got them from. This one holds Benefiber, this one holds coffee, and this one holds, I don't think there's nothing in there right now. In this next cabinet on the top shelf, I have these containers with pasta, mashed potatoes, sugar, and um, breadcrumbs in these nice containers that I got from Dollar Tree. On this next shelf, I have this one container that contains oats that I got from Dollar Tree. I have rice here and wheat thins. I got these containers. I'm not sure. I think I got these from National Liquidators. I have this container of chia seeds, which I got from Dollar Tree. And I had this container for years and it holds my sweet and low. On this next shelf, I hold my Herbalife products. And this is a little bit of oil that I had nowhere to put. And I have this measuring stuff in here that doesn't fit anywhere else. In the last cabinet over here, I just have my wine glasses on the top and my mugs on the bottom with a shelf over here, which I got to remove the paper. It looks super cute. This shelf holds more type of glassware. This next shelf holds my cups, plates, bowls, and serving dishes. And these two cabinets on the bottom, like I said, just hold stuff that's been here for years. It's like my mother's stuff that she needs to pick up when she comes back. But it just holds bigger appliances and stuff like that. In this cabinet, I have this bin that holds open chips. And I have one back there that has nothing yet that's going to hold chips that haven't been opened. I have this Tupperware that has random stuff that couldn't fit anywhere else that I put in here. In this last drawer, I have these two bins from Dollar Tree. This is holding pasta boxes, and these are like snacks that are in boxes that I didn't want to put in jars. Down here is all my water bottles. Over here is like emergency stuff like candles, batteries, flashlight, a lantern, all stuff like that. So that's the end of this video. Like I'm sweating. It's ridiculous. I've been doing this for the past couple of days. Like it took the whole week. But I took everything out of my cabinet. So went through everything. Threw some stuff out. Got some Tupperware. Used old Tupperware. And made my kitchen functional for me so make sure when you're doing your cabinets you're making it functional for you and since i don't have a pantry i have to make use of all these cabinets see i'm all out of breath 
but yeah guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up make sure you subscribe so you can see the next series and i'll see you in my next video bosses bye